Hello, what is up guys? Sorry for that abrupt ending in the previous part. Anyways, welcome back to part two of this terminology. The idio, first off we have markup. A difference between the cost of a product, between the cost of a product and the selling price. Oh, whoops, what happened right there? And the selling price when the selling price is higher. For example, if I have a bike, and the bike costs $100 and the selling price and the selling price and the selling price is equal to $110 then the markup is 10%. If solving this was confusing to you we have multiple videos on markups, markdowns and percent all of which I recommend that you take a look at. And this also brings me to another important part, markdowns. Markdowns. I'm actually going to write it in green because markdowns are good for the consumer at least uh normally they're good for the consumer let's say that we have a bike and we have the same situation and the bike is 100 dollars, exact same bike but this time the selling price the selling price meaning the price at which it's being sold at the selling price is 90 dollars that means that we had a 10 percent we had 10 percent but this time it was a 10% markdown because the price has been reduced. So that is a markdown. And this also would mean that the bike initially sold for $100. Normally, they wouldn't put, they wouldn't put a markdown such that the selling price is lower than the cost. Anyways, that's that. So if the bike was initially selling for $100, selling for... I just want to make this clear because very rarely will they ever put markdowns on the initial cost, right? A store wouldn't buy a bike for 100 and then sell it for 90 That doesn't make any sense. Uh, selling for $100. Uh, actually, at times, they would. It's a, it's a, it can be a good marketing tactic. Um, a anyways, um, that's, a, that's a different story. Back to sale price. The regular selling price of an item minus the discount or mark down on the price. So the sale price is basically the selling price. Let's say we have an item, an item that uh, is originally $100, that is $100, and then we have a discount of $10. So we have a discount of $10, so we're subtracting $10, then the sale price is $90. That is the sale price of the item. Lastly, we have sales tax, a tax charged by most states or countries on the selling price of a good or service usually expressed as a percent. If you live in the United States, you probably have to pay a sales tax. You should know your sales tax um, for your state. So if you do not, I encourage that you look that up. An example of a sales tax is actually right over here, right? We have the total of $4,000, but then because of our sales tax, um, we have to pay an additional $520. Uh, well, this isn't actually sales. This may be sales tax. This may not be sales tax. I cannot be sure. So let me give you a better, a, a different example. Let's say I bought various various items from a store, and they totaled up to one thousand dollars. And now I have a sales tax of let's say fifteen percent. I have a fifteen percent sales tax. So let me just write ST for short. Sales tax. That means that I have to pay an additional, an addition, oh, that's orange. I have to pay an additional $150 because of this sales tax. I'm writing it in red because I don't want to pay more. That is $1,150 that I have to pay because of sales tax. Anyways, those are, now we've completed seven important terms. I may go over more terms. If you find these videos helpful, leave a comment, leave a like. Thank you for watching and goodbye.